Hey guys, welcome to the video. Pleasure to have you guys aboard today. In today's video, we'll discuss the dieting principles of Miranda Kerr and how you can build a physique, that model-esque physique that uh, these models have. So before we get started though, just a quick note. If you do enjoy the video, really appreciate it if you could give it a like or subscribe to my channel. All right, let's get started then. All right, so to get this model-esque type physique, you know, we're going to have to stick to a few dietary goals here and we're just going to run through those real quick and then we'll get into the actual diet and what you can kind of eat and what you can't eat. So for most of us, you know, we don't have that low of a body fat percentage that it takes to look like a model. So our goal is going to be to just keep calories below maintenance. And what I mean by maintenance is the number of calories you would have to eat every single day to just maintain the same exact weight. And there's a lot of calories, uh, calorie calculators out there on the internet. And I'll even toss one up on the screen and in the description below. But essentially, you want to take all the calories you burn just by, you know, your body. If you were to sit on a couch all day, the number of calories you burn there plus the number of calories you you know burn from daily activity uh, if you go to the gym that day you want to take that entire total and then you want to make sure that everything you eat throughout the day is less than that and one of the easiest ways to do that is just by cutting out sugar you know sugar our Western diets we tend to eat in excess of sugar so you know no sugary drinks cutting out you know breads pastas uh, uh, pretty much carbohydrates in general is gonna reduce that to the point where you're not going to be having these excess empty calories so in conjunction with that we also want to eat more protein and that's gonna kind of pair with our weight training and our cardio plan and just workout plan in general and it's gonna give our muscles enough fuel so that we feel refreshed and we're actually going to maintain that muscle mass as we try to reduce and get to a lower body fat percentage. Because again, you know, to build this model S physique, it's not just about being skinny. It's about being skinny with muscle, which gives you the toned arms, toned look, the angular jawline, things like that. So cut out sugars, eat protein, and just make sure you're eating less than your maintenance number of calories. And again, you know, I really want to stress the point that uh, you know it's not about starving, it's not about crash dieting, it's about a long-term lifestyle change that allows us to maintain that physique for the rest of our lives. You know, it's there's no point looking like this for two weeks and just going through you know, hell, going to hell and back, and you get the look you want, or you do end up losing some weight, but it's not sustainable, and then you end up gaining it back. So fast is not better. You just want to keep it consistent and think about the long term, so that we can. You know, maintain this two, three, four years down the road. All right. So, like I said, for your actual diet plan, you want to do a low carb with a high protein diet. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a carb cycle. And this is actually the easiest ways to kind of do this low carb diet. You know, I know there's a low carb gets a lot of publicity out there. And from my experiences, you know, all my clients, they really respond to a carb cycle more than just doing low carb day in day out and essentially what uh, cycling carbs means is for five days when you're working out you're going to eat lower carbs and then for two days on the weekend you can enjoy a higher carb count and that's kind of what i have outlined here monday through friday just low carbs less than 100 grams and then saturday and sunday you can up that go over uh eat some fruits you know fruits are high in carbs uh have a bowl of pasta make some mac and cheese, any of those, those comfort foods. Just get over the 100 gram mark and kind of refuel your body going back into that low carb period. And some of the example foods here, just you know, for protein, when you're doing those low carb days, you're going to really want to stock up on the meats. Um, egg whites for breakfast is an awesome, you know, awesome, easy, quick uh, meal that you can make. Fish for dinner, chicken, uh, ground turkey, tuna steak, everything – any, pretty much any meat is going to have a high protein source. And for me personally, just switching it up uh, on a daily, I don't like to – I get really bored of eating the same type of meat every single day. So I do tend to buy two or three at a time and then just rotate through those during my low-carb days. And for your low-carb days, you are allowed some carbs, right? So you do want to just stick with the complex carbs though. And that just includes oatmeal, brown rice, uh, black beans, sweet potatoes. 
uh, anything like that is going to be healthy. It's going to give you a great carb source. You do want to stay away from sugary drinks, though. You know, only water during those low carb days. And if you really do get a craving for a Coke or a soda, um, just make sure you stick with the Coke Zeros or the diet sodas. You know, obviously those aren't you know healthy, but I also know that it's you know, near impossible to stick to something 100%. So if you do want a soda, just make sure it's diet and that it has zero carbs in it. And for fats, healthy fats, flaxseed oil, almonds, olive oil, and natural peanut butter, great sources of healthy fats. And you do want to make sure, you know, since you are cutting carbs down, the calories do kind of have to come from somewhere. So while you're upping your protein, you're also going to up your fats. So that's about it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Really appreciate you guys watching it. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please give it a like or subscribe to my channel. Come out with a lot of videos like this and it's a great way to just stay, you know, get the latest news on how to stay in shape. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. I'm going to stop rambling here. Hope you guys enjoyed it again and I'll catch you all later. Peace.